Hi there. Let's learn about the Studer. This Studer A827 has been with the UML SRT program for many a fortnight. The Studer is more than the sum of its parts. Let's take a look at them now. Supply real, transport, erase head, playback head, record head, cap stand, tape roller, take up real. Before you load the Studer, you need to get your reel from room 214. In order to keep the Studer running smoothly, you need to clean the heads regularly. Here, I'm using a Q-tip dipped in alcohol and swabbing the heads in a left to right motion. If the heads are covered in glass like these are, swabbing up and down is a fun alternative. If you're using a new reel of tape, you'll need to add leader at the beginning and end of your tape, as well as after your tones. Use the cutting block to make your cuts. Remove your reel from its case and place it onto the take-up reel. Keep your pinkies under the reel until it clicks in place and then gently lower it onto the machine. Tighten the supply reel knob until it's secured. The take-up reel knob on this particular machine has been compromised. Thread your leader through the tape path as shown. Wind the leader around the supply reel. Twist the supply reel while holding the leader in place with your thumb, as shown. Twist until the leader is secured around the reel and the reel doesn't slip. If you do this correctly, both reels should spin in tandem. Finally, hit the stop button to engage the transport and prepare the tape for recording and playback. If the rollers don't move, check for errors. If the remote doesn't seem to be working, there is a button entitled TD-REM that engages the transport. Make sure it's lit up. If there is a buildup of tape shed on the heads, clean the heads before continuing and check your tape for shedding. While you should treat your tape with care, it is quite durable and will last an eternity, just like pet sounds. Finally, if all else fails, power cycle the machine. We hope you found this video enjoyable and informative. Armed with this knowledge, you'll be able to work any tape machine you encounter on the course of your career. I know I'm never using Pro Tools again. 